Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well. Today I'm going to show you how we can actually manage if we get any error on our UIs and if someone passed the wrong URLs, how our website will get and manage those errors and show the appropriate UI error messages so users do not uh, get confused or it is there is no ambiguity between the UI of our screen and the user. So let's get started. And before getting to start, I need to tell you if you have not subscribed to my channel you can subscribe to my channel my channel name is Amir Parvez and here is the course the complete React.js developer course you can download the videos you can follow my channel you can subscribe to my channel if you miss anything while doing the source code you can download the source code files from here so guys in our previous video I actually covered these topics and if I click on the contact uh, I, I go to contact screen and if I click on the home, I go on the home screen. So now if I if I go in the URL, uh, you will see here, there's some error. And guys, this is actually error. Uh, we get this error if we pass the wrong URLs because sometimes there is a lot of ambiguity on the website. Someone passed the wrong URLs and it is possible. We human can type the do the typo mistakes. It is possible, right? So we, we need to handle such subtype of things uh, on our pages. And you can see here, if, if I go here and I pass the correct URL, it will take me to the, to the right page. So uh, you can see here, if I pass the, again the wrong URL, again, I get some error messages. Because actually, this error message is generated by a router, a React Router DOM package because it, it actually throws some error and it actually allow us, uh, actually giving some information that when your app throws error by providing your own elk error element props on route so actually on the route we can pass uh, we can we have one property which is error element we can pass some jsx to that so that if uh, it will not uh, return back the uh, react dom packages errors but it is going to uh, we can also customize this error and we can write our own error messages so let's get started so here i'm going to add one error component i'm going to say error com great and I'm going to write it like this. Great, it's, it's the code snippet, and I'm going to say it H1. It's not high, it's H1. I'm going to say it. There is some error. Please contact admin. Admin for more details, because admins always have a lot of details. Great. So now I'm going to pass here main. And in our previous video, what we did, uh, we actually managed all the components on the main. So I'm going to remove this thing and I'm going to make it on generic. So what I'm going to do on from here, I'm going to copy all this and pass it into the index CSS like I did here. Great. And I can also remove this one, no problem. Okay, great. So I am actually passing the indexes. Yes, it, it will apply on main of, of all the complete pages. So now if I go again here, if I will copy this message and I'm going to say here, now what will happen? Whenever we get some error, it is not going to get, show the error message on, if, if, if I'm going to add the error element in, in this, it will not directly come here. It will first go on the root element and then it will come to the child element. So we need to add the error message here on the root element. So I'm going to use error element property and I'm going to say here like this. So I need to import this and pass comma to separate these fields. I'm going to import this, import error com, our component name. And I'm going to say it components error, great. So now if, if I go on the web browser, so you can see here I passed the wrong URL and it shows me the correct message, which is great. If I click here, I, again, here, again, but I passed the wrong URL, something like this. So now we are not getting the ambiguate error message or the error message, which is for basically for the developers, uh, I can say. So now it's showing me the correct error message. We can add some button here. Please go to the home page or something like this. So it will take us to the home page and like this. So this is how we are actually handling the error elements 
and error messages uh, when we are working with the create browser routes so that's it for the today video so in the next video i'm going to cover some more topic in detail and thank you very much guys for liking and subscribing my channel and don't forget to share on the social media i hope you are getting a lot of information from these videos and if you get any confusion or any issue please write me in the comments thank you